Hello Exploration Nation. We are at a little small, uh, you couldn't call it a shopping center, but there were three businesses located here and I wanted to share them with you and so I came on out today and all three of these are closed and what happened was was a construction project by State Department of Transportation over there. It's a whole interchange redesign off of that highway and what I was told was that this building was originally scheduled for demolition and the owner of the building uh, challenged it and actually won and the building is still standing. So when all this was going on where you see Ann's place now used to be a huddle house and right when the State Department of Transportation uh, started the project here, the huddle house went ahead and bailed and Ann's place, a locally owned restaurant, moved in. And it wasn't a real long time after construction been going on that State Department of Transportation closed off the entrances. As you can see, nothing but sidewalk and curb right there. Which was interesting. They allowed the building to stay as the owner of the building wanted and then closed it off where nobody could get in. Well, nobody legally could get in. Uh, this is the south, and uh, believe me, that curb would not be a problem for most of us. And when I was about to make this video, I started to bring my truck over here and demonstrate that, but I didn't figure it would go over real well with the local constabulary, so I didn't uh, do that idea, follow through with that idea at all. So anyway, here it is. The parking lot is totally isolated. There's no way through from anywhere else to get in here. So it stands. And of course, all three businesses, Ann's Place, which is a breakfast and lunch place that had basically the same cuisine as uh, Huddle House, had to close, as well as the convenience store there in the middle. And down there uh, where it says package store was actually a hair salon. There was originally a package store there and a hair salon later. And when all this came about, the hair salon was able to relocate somewhere else and is still in business. So let's go take a look. It's kind of a cloudy day. I'm hoping that we can see inside. See inside very well from there at all, and it's locked up. I don't uh, think there's going to be any way in. Maybe we can see through here. Now you can see the lunch counter right there, with the bar stool still there. Seems shelter that so you can see better. There we go. And it looks like everything is still in there. All the equipment, tables, chairs, everything still in there. And the jukebox is still there. You can see it. It's mounted on the wall. Look straight down the wall, and the top of it is gold colored. That's a jukebox.
down here to the side. Maybe it's not so noisy. Look in this way. Okay, you got a lot better view of the dining room from this end. And of course the vandals have to do their thing as always. And if they ever break through that and get in, then the whole inside of that's going to be trashed. Of course. As I've said in other videos before, I have never understood the thrill people get out of doing such things. Here's the back door. Nothing really much to see back here. Just overgrown. And I don't know what's eventually going to happen with this building. Yeah, I thought that opened for a minute, but it's not. It's locked, so it may not be a way in into any one of these three businesses or I should say former businesses Christmas decorations back here It looks like somebody tried to break in here and was less than successful. Now this is where the hair salon was and before that the package store. Okay, focus, focus. There we go. And it just went out of focus again. Alrighty. Let's try another spot. Okay, and the hair salon took everything out. Except for that little step stool. Looks like a Costco step stool when the seat uh, lifts up. Didn't know they still made those. If they don't, then that's kind of old. propane cylinder container and there's still uh, propane uh, canisters in there, cylinders in there. And the convenience store looks like it's being used pretty much just for storage. As you can see, the drink machines are still there. All the refrigerators and freezers are still in here. 
shopping cart over there. And again, I apologize for the noise. This is on a real busy highway. Coke machine right there. See what we can see. And that looks like about it for this little building. So once again, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.